this is our temple Kaleen market. You know, this tracks our leads. It tracks like the statuses of, of our leads. We break up our list, not just by each list. Cause I know like out of each list that we pulled, how many records, how many leads that we got. We know how many records we did. We know how many hits and no hits. Like we have literally all this information. Basically we track everything, not just by the list. Cause most people don't even do that. Like they just, they're sloppy. They just like download their list, skip trace it, upload it and just go. But that's not ideal. Cause you want to know how many leads did I get from tired landlord tax delinquent like we pull best school district like the 10 out of 10 and 9 out of 10 schools and like low equity expired listings probates so on and so forth so like we even track our lists when we pulled them how many hits we got how many records how many hits how many no hits our percentage like we try to stay pretty tight with our data so we're talking about dialers and you can't triple dial i want to just tell my dialer to call this list and we break up our list like phone one phone two phone three phone four if i have four phone numbers for you i don't know which one to call you on till I talk to you. I need to break up the four phones because if I put them in one list and upload it and just call, it's just going to randomly bounce around between those numbers. Like there's no control. If it says I've called you six times, cool. I'm assuming I called you once on every phone, but which of the other two numbers did I call you on? I don't know. Nobody knows. They can't answer that question. So to fix that, we break up phone one. That's one list. Phone two, that's second list. Phone three, that's a third list. It's the same one. It's called tired landlord, temple, whatever. And then we have a date. We have this whole system but phone one and we, so we have that same list like five times so i know i've called you on phone number three four times now not only that but we track do we call you in the morning in the afternoon or the evening we track how many leads we get from each like block we call them time blocks so 8 a.m to noon is morning time block noon to 4 p.m is afternoon time block 4 p.m to 8 p.m is evening time block and we rotate our list throughout the day i have a team dedicated to just rotating the list all day every day so different lists different time Time zones, different phone numbers. They're doing that. Why? Because there's no system out there that I can tell it to do this, which is to me absurd, but nobody has this. So we manually do it right now. And then what we just started doing is tracking everything and putting it into spreadsheets and our KPI reporting. And then we took that and put it into Looker Studio, like Google's uh, data studio. And then we created this. How many leads are we getting each day? So this is like the you know daily count um, by week. And everything is limited because of what I said earlier, because everything's that in one centralized location, I don't have full control because this is Google, that one was ready mode, the other thing is Podio, it's all over the place. But I just wanna look at, okay, where, like where are my leads? Where are my actual leads coming from? So we created a heat map that actually shows where we're getting our leads from. This is our call center tracker. So during that time, we made 1.2 million dials. We connected with 22,000 whatever people. Dials per lead. Are you doing this? Yeah, basically our team is doing it. We've engineered. I've engineered the conveyor belt. Like, yeah, we've worked our way into tracking all of this data. Yeah. So anytime they make a call at the end of the day, they come in here and update their number. We made like 6 million dials last month. There's no way we could have manually done that. So what we do is um, we have this thing. It's so much manual labor. This is why I have a team of 60 VA and counting. So here's another thing, like I want to track at the end of every pay period, who are my top performers? How many leads did we generate? Who's a top performer? Who's a bottom performer? We've basically like created this entire thing so that we can track. I call this their power number. Where is it? Right here. This is their power number. So the higher this number is, the closer to one, the better, the lower the number, like the worse they're doing. So it's an average of like for every hour they're on the phone, how many leads do they generate? And then I divide that number and then I get their power. It's like a quarterback ranking if you guys watch football right like your qbr we kind of created a qbr for our cold callers so we know who's the best performer and who's the worst and then we pull we put a, a magnifying glass on the bottom you know 30 percent of our call center and then we reward the top performers we can see like who's disproportionately like this guy why does this guy have two times as many wrong numbers as everybody else like they're damn near three times where like are you really getting that many more bad results and why is this person getting a third of the other way right they're probably missing dispositioning their calls. That's what's happening here. So we need to talk to them and check them, put a laser beam on them, make sure they're doing what they're doing. We've caught people like that have like really high drop voicemail. You should not be having 70% of your calls be voicemail. That's weird. QA, quality assurance can go check in on all this different stuff. We have to manually do this. Like I have to like go pull these stats or whatever, bring them in. And then we have to like download the thing, upload it here and then grab the information and bring it. Like there's a lot of manual work where, I mean, it's 2020 it's damn near about to be 2024. Like, here's another thing. I have to manually track my reps, what market they got the lead in, and how many leads we got in that particular market. That's not automated. So yes.
you generate 37 leads and then here's the people that generated the leads and here's the markets that they generated them in so we have to like track that so all of this data feeds into what i was showing you a second ago so all of that feeds into like all of this and then at the end of the pay period at the end of the week the month the whatever like you know whatever time period we want we can then start to look at our kpis and make sense of it so to answer like that question from a while ago like why would i want to build our own crm instead of just using go high level i'm sure go high level will move the ball forward for us but will it give me all of this because this should all be automated instead of having 60 vas i should have literally half of that or less than half of that if i didn't have to do so many manual tasks but on the other hand it's like what am i going to do cut my workforce and then we're not going to know like which part of this data can i cut you know is it not important to know where the leads came from or what time of day is working or what list is performing or which employee is performing or you know a good successful business is run by your KPIs. You're seeing who's yeah. working, who's not, what's working, what's not, then you tweak accordingly. So what does push to market be? So they send up leads, like callers are incentivized, literally incentivized financially to push leads up, right? So, cause if it, if it becomes a deal, they get a bonus and they get a spin. They're like just smashing the send button. So they'll send more leads up to QA than the QA will send to the marketing partner. So push the market means like, that's how many actual leads got pushed over to acquisition. Every lead that goes from the call center and the caller, sometimes they fat finger it, they click the wrong button, sometimes they send up a completely garbage call and it's like, dude, this is not a lead, we're not sending this up, call them back. So these are pushed leads, like we actually pushed. So we might have generated probably 40, 40 couple leads yesterday on ready mode, but 37 of them made it up to Podio and didn't get deleted to the marketing partner, whoever, like these people here that you see on this screen. So that's what that means.